Mom, for pay the tooth hot near that bad, why don't you go to the emergency dentist? <laughs> Just a thought of dentist give me to take. Yes, Pope, I know what you mean. But I suppose they're a necessary evil. You call them necessary, I call them evil. I mean, what nice, respectable person wants to be a dentist? Ah, oh, come on, guys. They're all nice, respectable people. Listen, I haven't come across a dentist yet who is a hooligan. You haven't met mine. <laughs> oh, my goodness, Sean. What happened to you? You just come from the dentist. <laughs> I, I, I uh, tripped over ice skating. Sean. No, Mum, it's the truth. And I fell off Mount Everest and survived. <laughs> Don't be ridiculous, Dad. And I suppose somebody dragged you into the ice by your collar. No, no, we both fell down and he hung on to my collar. And it's when we tried to get back up that the bag ripped. Listen, and... I think what Sean's trying to say, Des, is that he walked into a lamppost. Now, listen, we've all done that once or twice in our time, haven't we, mate? Is that why you're so stupid, Tony? <laughs> Now you sit down there until you remember what happened. Well, you know what happened. Well, what happened, darling? Walked into a lamppost, isn't it? That's it. <laughs> you run it for a week. No, make it two. <laughs> oh, hey, well, there's a guy. Sean, you been the punch up? <laughs> well, I sure you. You give him one to me. <laughs> oh yeah, pork pie. Well, next time you pick on someone your own size, yeah? <laughs> Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon. Listen, I've got a bit of news. News? Oh, great. I love news. What's your news, Matthew? Sean, I want to hear your news first. All right, if I tell you what really happened, will you change my prison sentence? All right. Three weeks, four weeks, five weeks. Oh, all right. right. <laughs> I got into a fight. So why didn't you say so in the first place? Because I knew you'd get angry. Did you seriously think you could get away with lying? Why not? I've got away with it in the past. <laughs> <laughs> that son of mine. Oh, come on, Des. Everybody tells pork pies. Nobody tells me anything. <laughs> no, no, pork, pie, pork pies is cockney rhyming for lies, isn't it? Oh. Yeah. I mean, we all got to be a bit economic with the truth on occasions, you know, get us out of a spot of bother. Mm. And we sure. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, uh, what was the biggest whopper you ever told, eh? <laughs> I came home once with a rip in my best dress. And when my father said, how did you come upon this rip? My father was a preacher, you see. <laughs> I said to him, Father, I was on my way home, and I saw this ghost so run into the church, and I kneeled down and I prayed as hard as I could. And when I finished praying, I stood up and caught my dress on a nail in the pew. And he believed me. <laughs> well, I don't. What really happened? Give me time, I'll think of something. <laughs> what was your biggest pork pie, pork pie? Oh, I got away with more by telling the truth. The truth? Yes, you know, my wife always called me a liar. So when I spent the whole day on the beach with her cousin, Winnie, I told her, and she didn't believe a word of it. <laughs> <laughs> what about you, Matthew? Hmm? Uh, in the Gambia, we don't tell lies. <laughs> well, on occasion, we um, embroider the truth. Oh. And we tell people what they want to know, which brings me to the matter in hand. Tomorrow, my sister Florence is arriving from the Gambia to visit me. She's bringing with her her stuck-up husband, who's also called Matthew. You mean there's two of you? <laughs> Matthew is a very popular name in my hometown. It's a pity it's not the same here. <laughs> the point is, some years ago, I started correspondence to my family, saying that I was beginning to be a businessman and would have to uh, study longer in England, you know, to keep pace with growing trends. I rented part of my house and sent the money back home, you know, just to show how well I was doing. I have, as we say, embroidered the truth. And now they're arriving tomorrow. And knowing my busybody, bigoted sister and her pompous little husband, they would demand to meet some of my business partners. What am I going to do? <laughs> well, Matthew, you know what they say? A friend in need is a pain in the... Yes, man. Yes. <laughs> and you are no exception. Have no fear, Desmond is here. Let me introduce you to your two new business partners. What? what? Have you met Mr. Anthony Belmont Smythe? Oh, how do you do? It'll be a pleasure doing business with you, sir. <laughs> and Mr. Luther. Luther Vanderbilt III. At your service, boy. <laughs> you don't have to go that far. A British accent will do. Oh, come on, Des. I always wanted to play an American. No. <laughs> All right, then. <clears throat> uh, Lawrence Vanderbilt. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Mrs. Belmont Spythe and Vanderbilt <clears throat> will form the reception committee at Matthew's favorite haunt. What? Here? Oh, no, no, no. Somewhere more appropriate where you can get an aperitif and have a progress report on Matthew's business ventures. Y yeah, but that... And then back to the Ambrose Salon for tea and a bit more embroidery. Yeah. Dad? <laughs> but you just told me I can't lie. I mean, isn't this one big lie? Ah, uh, no, 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 son. I mean, this is just the kind of games that um, grown-ups yeah. play. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't worry about it. <laughs> I know that Sterling's weak, so put it in the end instead. Yeah. Oh, wonderful, wonderful. <laughs> yeah. You really look the part with that phone. <laughs> it ain't real, it's plastic. Yeah, I have one. <laughs> Look, I know the bag he looks in at the moment, but that's a sack you're wearing, isn't it? Yeah, look, all right, I know. I ain't got a suit, all right? I bought it off my mate. He's very big in the city. Yeah. <laughs> very big everywhere. Right, now, we've got to get this straight, right? What line of business are you dealing in? Yeah, well, I thought I'd go for the money market. You can't do that. I was going to do that. Oh, no, come on, man. I've done a lot of research into this. Oh, you like what? Well, I watched the money program last night. And... <laughs> yeah. All right. I'll be in equities. What are equities? Well, I don't know. But well, whatever they are, I'm dealing in them. Yeah, no, Sister Flores. <laughs> well, I'm sure they're in somewhere. What sort of place is this, Matthew? Oh, it is called a wine bar. You drink while you walk? Hello. <laughs> ah, here are my business associates. Yeah. Sister Florence and Matthew, I would like you to meet... Um, uh, Anthony Belmont Smythe. How oh, wonderful to meet you. Yes. <laughs> and, uh, uh, one minute. Uh, yes, get my secretary to deal with it. Well, you know where you can put your footsie. Yup. Yup. Talk to me later. Goodbye. <laughs> Sorry, how terribly rude of me. Lawrence. Lawrence Vanderbilt. Matthew has told me so much about you. <laughs> what have you been saying, Matthew? Oh, most of it good, I assure you. <laughs> so, Matthew. These are your business associates? Yup. <laughs> yup. Yup, yup, yup. <laughs> They're yuppies. They're a bit young, aren't they? In the Gambia, in order to be a successful businessman like myself, one really must be of respectable age and stature. Do you see? Well, yes, but... This boy hasn't even grown enough to fit into a suit. <laughs> <laughs> So, Matthew. Yes? Yes, <laughs> uh, yes um, I understand that you're in London uh, for business as well as pleasure. Yes. There is an opening in our London office. Do you see? Ah. <laughs> My husband is an accountant. <laughs> and what do your friends do? Well... Yeah, well, I, I um, dibble-dabble in the money markets. <laughs> and I scribble-scrabble in equities. <laughs> uh, you don't want to buy any, do you? No. I also do a nice line in electric irons. Mm. How much? Uh, to you a tenner. We'll take two dozen. We're done. <laughs> well, let's sit, shall we? Yes, yes, let's. <clears throat> Tell me, uh, what would you like to drink? Uh, well, I'll have a, a large... A soft drink for him and a water for me without the bubbles. What, I shouldn't have bubbles, don't you agree? Uh, yes. yes. <laughs> well, I I'll get the drinks. No. Very good. <clears throat> Lawrence, uh, may I use your phone? Uh, yes, certainly. Uh, ah! <laughs> I I'm afraid you can't. <laughs> Oh, why ever not? I mean, Matthew is our guest. Yes. Uh, it, it's one o'clock. It's lunchtime. The operators go to lunch at one and they shan't be back until three. <laughs> <laughs> England. <laughs> Here come. Oh, quick, Lauren. Just one. Wow. What? Sister Florence and Matthew McFarlane. I would like you to meet Desmond Ambrose and his family. Nice to meet you, Matthew. Do call me Mr. McFarlane. <laughs> uh, sorry, uh, Mr. McFarlane. Mrs. McFarlane, this is my wife, Shirley. How do you do? Perfectly well, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> and this is my daughter, Gloria. Hello. <laughs> And our youngest son, Sean. Welcome to London, sir. Very nice. It is gratifying to see West Indians acknowledging their roots. <laughs> Wonderful African craftsmanship, do you see? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, no, a woman makes them on a stall down Peckham Arcade. <laughs> They're all the rage, sir. You could start a trend in your country. <laughs> Whatever that woman does them for, I could do them for cheaper. <laughs> Six dozen. Done. Lawrence, <laughs> Anthony, 
some drinks, please. Certainly, certainly. Um, would you like to try some of our West Indian cuisine, Florence? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think so, thank you. One has to be careful what one eats on foreign trips. Uh, Mrs. McFarlane, uh, would you care for a glass of peck and plonk? <laughs> I would like to propose a toast and extend a hand of friendship to Matthew, uh, Mr. McFarlane, and his charming wife, Florence. I would like to toast the owner of this excellent barber shop, my brother Matthew. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you there think we work for you? What more can I say, Desmond? I have said I am sorry. I, I must have mentioned in a letter some time ago that I came to the shop regularly, but I didn't think they thought I owned it. Well, they do, and you just have to tell them that you don't. <laughs> I can't do that. They'll think I've been lying. Whereas you've been embroidering, Machu, white dog Africans tell straightforward lies like everybody else. Desmond, Shirley, please. Keep up the pretense for me while they're still here. What time you said they were coming this morning? I don't know, Shell. They just had to meet them here. But, Popeye, I thought you went to the dentist yesterday. It hurt so much I couldn't get there. Since when does the toothache stop anybody going to the dentist? Have you ever tried walking when you're in agony? All you could do is jump up and down to keep your mind off the pain. Now, listen, Popeye, <laughs> come sit down. Listen, we got to fill you in about yesterday. Matthew's sister and the shop. I'm all ears. Yes, well, when Matthew's sister not... Oh, girl. <laughs> <laughs> we thought we dropped by early. We have a lot to do today. Boy, Matthew, may never see you jump up so quick. <laughs> like your big sister used to give you licks when you was young. Matthew, who is this man? Uh, this is pork pie, a regular. Pork pie, my sister Florence. Why? I never thought someone as ugly as you could have a sister as good looking as this. You don't mind, do you? So you are a regular, are you? Regular as clockwork. You can always find our bottoms on these chairs, eh, Matthew? Uh, yes, yes, but my, since you've retired, we've let you come in. Come into the shop to help us when you're needed. Yes. I often you give him, you know, odd jobs to do. Yes, like right now, come for I want to have a word. <laughs> Tell Popeye about Matthew owning the shop. Yeah, but you said I mustn't lie. I want you to tell him now. Yeah, sorry for me to lie today, but not yesterday. Just tell him. Uh, tea and coffee, anybody? Yes, yes please. please. Uh, A real African coffee, please. We'll buy some tea and coffee for our guests. No, it's all right. I'll get it. It'll have to be West Indian instant, I'm afraid. Very well. If instant means the same thing as quick. <laughs> now, what I would like to do today is look at the books. The books? The accounts, Matthew. Oh, the books. Uh, where did I put them? I think you put them over there, Matthew. We are worried about you, Matthew. You have entrusted your business to these West Indians. How do you know we can trust them? Do you see? Well, they've been very good. But I'm not sure I like their manner. I think you would have to insist that they call you sir. Mm -hmm. You cannot have the boss and the employees on first name terms. Otherwise, they think you are equal. My sister, this Mr. Mr. Desmond, I must insist that from now on you call my brother sir. <laughs> sir? Yes, sir. <laughs> Do I make myself clear? <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> Dad, I don't think I'm grand any longer, do you? <laughs> <laughs> if I have the owner's permission, I'd like to sit down. Yes, please, Popeye. <laughs> what is wrong with your face? To take. Why don't you go to the dentist? Oh, I tried. Come here. <laughs> I'll fix it for you. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's a little something the traditional doctor taught me. That sounds dangerous to me. Don't be so small-minded. Even your Prince Charles believes in alternative medicine. Go sit over there. Uh. <laughs> now, open your mouth. Ah. Uh. Which side does it hurt? This side. Now, I want you to concentrate on my fingers. 
Do you see? Close your eyes and concentrate. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Gone. Do you see? It's gone. <laughs> the pain is gone. Why, Prince Charles is right. <laughs> you should still see a dentist. Now, the books. I want to talk to your wife. Did she go this way? Yes, she's upstairs. Thank you. Does your family live on the premises? Yes. I hope you charge them enough rent, Matthew. <laughs> right, Matthew. I would like you to take me through these books. Well, um, the, 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 the dance mother has been doing the books lately. Isn't that right? Uh, uh, yes. <laughs> but our financial advisor has been fine-tuning them a bit. Oh, so we have a financial advisor. I hope he's from a reputable firm, Matthew. Uh, 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 yes. <laughs> he's from a, a, a big bank, <laughs> I think. Listen, Matthew's sister and his brother-in-law have come over to England to visit. They've embroidered the facts, so he's not your shooter anymore. I'm, he owns the shop, I'm the manager, your mother's just giving and Tony his business partners. <laughs> they fixed pork pies to take you, the financial advisor, on the outside the door. <laughs> Mr. <laughs> Let me introduce you to our financial advisor, who happens to have the same surname as myself. Mr. Ambrose, this is Sir Matthew's brother-in-law, who happens to have the same name as Matthew, sir. <laughs> How do you do, Mr. McFarlane? Oh, please do call me Matthew. <laughs> uh, yes, um, Matthew. Yes? yes. <laughs> what do I have the, uh, the, the honor of this visit? Well, um... Ah, <laughs> uh, 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 the books! At last, an intelligent person who will guide me through these books. Tell me. What position do you hold here? Well, I'm... I'm president of the bank. Father. Our father than he ever thought he'd get. <laughs> now, I need to be satisfied that my brother-in-law's books are in order. Is the business efficiently run? Is the manager here capable of the job? And what sort of changes could one implement in order to improve efficiency? Do you ah, see? Well, yes. Um... I'd like to start with the manager's position. I still think there's room for improvement. You see, he has a tendency to run things his own way. He's a little set in his ways, you see. He doesn't take advice particularly well. He can be stubborn. But all in all, he's the best man for the job. As for changes, I always thought the owner didn't like changes. You don't like changes, Matthew? Well, I don't mind them. Why don't you leave this to us, uh, sir? And I'll see what answers I can provide for Mr. McFarlane here. Yes, a very good idea. Come on, Desmond, let's go. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> I think we have to discuss some of your attitude problems which my financial advisor just raised. Out. <laughs> she's getting to you, isn't she? No, she's not. <laughs> Put up with it. Time to get lost. It's your shop. Shelly, I want to talk to you. What is it now? Hmm? You don't like the bathroom? <laughs> I need to speak to you alone. But this is Gloria's home, too, you know. Whatever you have to say can be said in front of my daughter. Very well. I want to know about Matthew's love life. Gloria, I think you better take your studies to your bedroom. <laughs> oh, I always miss that on a good Now. Day. I don't know anything about Matthew's love life. Whatever Matthew chooses to do with his love life is up to him. What I want to know is, is he seeing anybody at the moment? Oh, no. Matthew's a married man. That's what I'm worried about, you see. Gambian men are not averse to picking up an extra woman here and there. <laughs> That's true of most men. <laughs> Gloria, go to your room. Oh, mom. You know what our biggest fear was? Uh-uh. That he would abandon his Gambian wife for someone foreign. You mean like a West Indian? <laughs> you know, Shirley, the longer we 
you talk? Then why discover we share so many thoughts? <laughs> You're so sensible. For someone living in the Western world. <laughs> Gloria. Very nice. It is, isn't it? You see, Shirley, there's quite an act of plaiting and weaving here. It would be nice to think that Matthew's shop had a reputation for African artistry. Oh, but keep still! No, that's enough. <laughs> Look, I've had enough of you and your superior manner. You ain't no better than me, you know. As a matter of fact, I am better than you because this is uh, my... Now, please, try not to lose your temper. Temper? I wouldn't lose breath on you. <laughs> Shirley is a good woman, Matthew. I like her a lot. I like her fire, her passion. We need more women like her in Africa. Yeah, man. Hear that, sir, Matthew? <laughs> we need more West Indian women in Africa. <laughs> John, what happened? I twisted my ankle ice skating, man. Yes, and I'm not standing here or cutting this man's hair. <laughs> oh, mercy, I'm the man of a cut here. You twist my ankle ice skating. You're not accusing me of lying, are you? Because if you are. Ah, no, 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 no. <laughs> Just sit down and rest your ankle. Rest down, folks. Rest, rest down. Oh, there you are. You put up your foot there. Yeah? Ah. Here you are, Miss Nightingale. <laughs> Two dozen electric irons. Where would you like them? Splendid. Put them over there. Ah. Matthew, don't you think it's about time you told your sister the truth? Well, uh, I have thought about it, and I. Uh... I have thought about it. I think he's right to look for this place. It's turning into a circus. In you come, Mr. McFarlane. Yep. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> OK, Augustus, I think I have to hang up now. It is uh, one o'clock, and I think the operator will be going for her lunch. <laughs> mm, 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 mm. England, do you see? <laughs> Florence, Matthew, there is something. I've come to a decision. Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to say a few words. Uh, no, man. Uh, Lewis, Lewis, Lewis. 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 <laughs> the shop is doing fine. It is not making great profits, but they are not ripping you off, Matthew. In fact, Michael here showed me a few tricks even I didn't know. <laughs> so, on behalf of Florence and myself, I would like to say that under the management of Desmond here, with all his faults, <laughs> the shop is being efficiently run, and we will certainly tell them so back home. Do you see? Can I say something, man? Yes, I would like to say... I would like to say that your family has shown so much loyalty to my brother Matthew that I am sure it won't be long before he offers you the opportunity to own your very own shop. <laughs> oh, that's a very generous offer. I think I'll have this one. Do you think? <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>